All right, welcome everyone to the Dream Builders podcast. I am super excited for this upcoming conversation where we're going to talk about how you can achieve your personal, your professional, and your financial goals faster and easier than you can imagine. And I've invited a very special guest who knows all about that and has made it his expertise to help people to uh, set and achieve their goals. And Pavel Verbniak, I'm super delighted to, to have you and to introduce you to my audience. Uh, guys, Pavel is a success expert. He's a life coach. He's an award-winning speaker, an internationally recognized leader in personal development and peak performance strategies. And for over 15 years, he has been teaching entrepreneurs, educators, corporate leaders, and people from all walks of life to create the life they desire. So Pavel, welcome, man. I'm excited to have this conversation with you. Thank you so much, Joachim. It's great to see you again. And thank you for inviting me on your show great honor for me as well yeah. you know we were just talking before we we started about our like we kind of started the year january quite quite easily we both went on a holiday <laughs> i went to the south of portugal and you know you went to to dubai to, to take yeah. it easy do, do you think like um having a holiday at the beginning of the year is, is like a good intention to, to start the year in like when it comes to achieving goals? Absolutely, Joachim. I believe so. Because uh, as you know, I was planning to go to South Africa to take this creative journey, to take a break from, from my professional and personal life. And usually beginning of the year, first part of January, and uh, you, you, you can say that probably in your business, and I can say in speaking and coaching business, it's, uh, it's slow. Uh, they, there are uh, not too, much, too many seminars, workshops, and uh, coaching clients. And uh, I decided to take this break to get more energy, to get more ideas, just to relax and to invest this time in myself. And it's very important to... Uh, show our mind and, and body and brain that you did great job back in 2021. Now you can do something for yourself. And I've, I've, I decided to go to that journey to, to buy this uh, time and experience just to uh, get more motivation, to make more, to provide more value to people and to, to earn more money. Because before, I'm not really a materialistic person, Dokim. And, uh, but I, I like to study, I like to travel, I like to meet new people. And now, during my trip in Dubai, I just understood why I, I would love to earn more, that, why I, sh I want to uh, raise my standards and, uh, and to travel in beautiful places, meet new, new nice people. And uh, it's it's good it's good uh, it's good experience to go in new place because it was my first time in Dubai. To be honest, I never had in my wish and goal is to go there, but I decided, wow, I never been there. I want I want to go, and uh, it's it's good to think to write down new goals for for new year. So um, I believe to be in this kind of environment it's 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 nice it's expensive city you you probably thought about that it's, yeah. it's nice to mm -hmm. think about something differently so uh I, I i would recommend to people to travel there are abundance of opportunity to travel if, even without money you, you can go with uh, uh, couch surfing you can go just to buy one-way ticket or uh just go in in a small city close to your place uh, it's not it, it doesn't really uh, important to go somewhere far away you can go to the nature you can go to new place you can go to the theater or restaurant or museum just to get new experience just to build new neural connections in your mind so you you become more creative more positive more energetic because you you uh, increase this energy flow in yourself and it's it's very important i love that i i totally recognize what you say because you know i i also went in the new year i went to to the algarve for a week to the mm. south of portugal and you know i also like just starting the year like that it helped me a lot to you know reboot and re-energize um just like being in nature uh like have some sunshine getting some vitamin d 
uh, have great food and it's all like nourishing our bodies as well to, to kind of reset, right? And, and level ourselves up. And what I loved about what you said, you were also talking about, um, you know, re-energizing yourself and so on. When, when you go on a holiday, on a holiday like that, when you go to Dubai, what is it that you do to like, do you consciously um, re-energize yourself with certain activities or do you just enjoy time and you see what you do? Like what, what, what kind of activities are you doing? I, I would say joking both. Um, I, 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 I woke up early enough to do my practice, to, to do my meditation. I went to the beach uh, on a regular basis and I, I practiced walking meditation. So it's nice experience. You walk mm -hmm. and you just visualize your perfect future. You get this energy. You attract this kind of uh, vibration in your own life. So it's good to be on beautiful beach, to get this sun, sun, sunlight and, sun, and tan and, uh, and, and uh, it's good. And also I did something new. So I went to uh, Burj Khalifa. It's the, um, the most, uh, the, the biggest uh, building in the world. And uh, I saw um, all Dubai from, from the top and, and it's very, very nice experience. I had very nice connection over there, met nice people and networking is, 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 is beautiful to meet beautiful people from all over the world, Joachim. That's how we met to each other. So uh, you, exactly. have great, yeah. you have great positive energy. And I believe that we attract like-minded people. We attract uh, circumstances, uh, opportunities, situations that are in harmony with our thoughts. So that's very important to work with your vibrations, with your energy, because energy is everything. The, the food we eat, the, the thought we think, the word we say, um, table and computer, environment, apartments, everything has a, a, a vibration. So if you want to achieve something bigger in your life to, uh, to increase your income or, um, or improve your relationships with yourself or others, it's very important to, to go to different places to see that kind of vibration. For example, if you have challenges with, uh, with money, uh, you can go to a nice restaurant or cafe, just buy one cup of tea or, or, or coffee and just spend an hour or two in this place and just see around how, what, who, what, what the people are around and what do they do, what, what they talk about. And, and it's, you, you get this kind of vibration. So it's, um, our, our mind doesn't see the difference, is it? real or it just in your head visual, visualization your idea or or, or or something like that so you can visualize your perfect future you can see yourself as a confident person a public speaker or a successful entrepreneur or great manager and just think about yourself like this you know, put that energy visualize with emotions and you will attract you you start to attract nice people nice book and it, it, that's um, very important to feed your mind with right positive information yesterday I, I went to post office i bought several books probably you can see that um it's uh, paid to speak yes. so how to how to become a public speaker and uh, you ink so uh, the art the art of selling yourself and when I went in Dubai, the biggest mall in the world, I bought two books by uh, Timothy Ferris. So, uh, uh, Tool of Titans and uh, Tribe of Mentors. Awesome. So, uh, awesome. yeah, I, I'm going to discover this. I want to, to read that because uh, we become what we think about most of the time. And it's very important what kind of books you read, what kind of movies you watch, what kind of songs you listen to what kind of people you, you communicate with, because everything has a cause and everything has an effect. So the law of cause and effect, the iron, iron law of the universe, like the law of vibration, the law of attraction, works all the time. So be careful what kind of words and thoughts you think and, and, and say. So um, I, I use words challenge and situation other than uh, problem. Because when you say problem, you lower your creative creativeness. When you say, oh, I have this kind of situation, you, you increase that uh, creativity in yourself. 
and uh, uh, everything has a vibration. Everything has has a has a, 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 an energy, Joachim, and uh, they they are they are mind and body connection. Mm. So you know exactly how it works. You you can smile, and uh, and your body get uh, an idea that everything is good with me in a couple of minutes. But if you say, oh, something is bad, or you criticize, you negative, you blame others, you put the energy in that uh, direction. So uh, that's how it works. And the, these concepts are is uh, more than 2,000 years already. So just model, uh, learn from failures and successes of other people, because success leaves clues. And uh, uh, success is predictable, it's not an accident. So you can learn, you can apply in your own life, you can uh, discover and get your, your own experience and just, just do what other people did, do and did. And you will get the same results step by step. Awesome, man. Now, Pavel, you mentioned some great things already. Like I had a lot of like aha moments and, and this kind of things. Like you said things like we become what we think about. I think that's very, very important. You also mentioned like the law of cause and effect and that success is actually predictable. That is not an accident. Um, and I, I would love to talk about those kind of topics a little bit later into our conversation. Um, but first, I would also love to know a little bit more um, about you. Yep. Because it's been like I've, I have the feeling that you have been in this industry personal development like for a long time but you still look you still look so young and fresh right so, it's, a, it's a compliment thank you thank you joking but now, like now, when when did that journey start for you like yes. when did you start immersing yes. yourself in in these kind of subjects yeah joking uh back in 2005 i started to ask myself a question how can i uh expand my own life what's the difference between successful people and others and i started to learn to read biographies autobiographies books on psychology management business to be honest i didn't have money to buy a seminar or even book i went to libraries i i i, I searched uh, the information everywhere i could and uh, i started to work with my mindset i started to apply these principles in my own life setting goals visual visualization meditation uh, uh, different kind of practices uh, that helps to eliminate limiting beliefs and fears and uh, for two years i didn't see the difference i i thought everything the same but after two years i started to realize that wow my mindset have changed my decision changed and my results changed as well so uh, everything starts inside uh, so when you develop yourself, if you want to, to have more successful, happy, wealthy life outside, you should become more wealthy, happier person inside. I so, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I went to de personal development and I, I'm really obsessed and passionate about the psychology of success and principles of productive people. I didn't know that there's profession called speaker, professional speaker or coach. But in several years, I just realized, wow, that works in my life. I want to share this information with others. And uh, I saw that this program called Train the Trainer and with Jack Canfield, but I didn't, I wasn't ready. It was expensive. It, was, it wasn't for me right now. I, I, went, I, I, just, uh, I went in my hometown close to St. Petersburg in Finland, and I was born in... Uh, not not wealthy family so it's uh, we we didn't have uh, enough to to buy something food or clothes and so on and i i just realized wow i want to be like them i want to be like J jim ron w clement stone napoleon hill yeah, brian yeah. tracy <laughs> zig ziglar and so on and uh, and then back in 2011 after i returned from the united states it was students exchange program I just realized that my, my hometown is too small for me right now. And uh, I moved to Moscow and uh, I, I, I've got some financial successes because I applied these principles in my own life. And I saw the information about the train the trainer again in several years after that first time. And I just uh, had this idea, I'm ready, I want to do that. 
I applied for that program. Uh, I, I, uh, someone interviewed me. I've paid the money. It was around twenty thousand dollars, and I, I, I've certi I, I've got this certification. It was two thousand fourteen, and it was great experience. Nice people. Jack is a great uh, person to have mentor uh, as a mentor and friend. Uh, he's the co-author of the secret secret movie in Chicken Soup for the Soul, and uh, he's great. And uh, I returned to Moscow and I just started to apply this in my life. And I, I became a speaker and trainer. And uh, I'm really passionate about sharing these ideas, inspiring people, motivate them to live their full potential, to uh, uh, unlock their full, full potential, to live more abundant, happier, successful life. We, are, we, we can do that, Joachim. We, uh, we, we, we are worthy. We are here for the reason. And uh, I'm, I'm so, I feel so blessed that I found that I want to do that. I, I found what I'm really passionate about. And that became my profession. So it's, it's so beautiful. Awesome. So, you know, eventually the money that you invested in the training uh, perfectly paid out, right? <laughs> uh, to, to be honest, Joachim, I didn't see that it's, it's paying me. I, 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 I thought it's a great journey. It's great experience. Uh, and I, I invest in myself. I, I like to invest in myself. For these 15, 16 years, I've invested, I, I, I believe, around $300,000. And it was one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's seminars in mm. different countries, and uh, travel expense, and so on. And it's, it's, I, I believe it's a great, great investment that pay good divid dividends, as, as a lot of people say that. So, um, yeah. I, I believe co constant and ever never ending improvement uh, is the key that can help you achieve your 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 goals and your and your successes because everyone has uh, the different concept of success and different definition because mm -hmm. when i when i ask my followers and students oh, how many of you would love to succeed a lot of people raises their their hands but when i ask What's what success means? To, what does success means to you? A lot of people doesn't know. Excellent. So it's very important to decide exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. Take one hundred percent responsibility for your results in life, and constant and never-ending improvement and action mm -hmm. toward your goal. So um, we become more happier per pe person when we when we get closer to our goals and when we provide values to others. So mm -hmm. I feel so happy and, and grateful for that. Awesome, man. I'm, I'm very happy that everything worked out and that you're here now shining and educating others and, and teaching and, you know, building your, your international brand as well. I think it's very important that you also have that, that English voice because you're not just uh, speaking in Russia right now. So, yes, very happy that you're helping people all over the world to really create the life that they, that they want and that they desire. So, uh, thank you so much for that. Thank you. Now, Pavel. Let's yes. talk about, you, you, you were talking about it already a little bit, right? Setting and achieving goals. Mm -hmm. I think one of the first steps that you mentioned, you kind of mentioned already um, a couple of minutes ago when you were talking about, you really need to know clearly what success means to you. You clearly need to know what you want. Um, how can people find out what they want if they don't know? Yes. Joachim, uh, it's okay if, if uh, someone doesn't know what 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 he what what he or she wants it's okay i didn't know exactly what i wanted but you just listen to your heart your, your gut feelings when, when you enjoy doing something think about how you can earn from that how you can create a profession or career or business from that so um there are process-oriented people and they are result-oriented people so when you when you uh Put that together, you can find some nice combination of your success. So um, enjoy the process and see exactly what you want. But it's okay if you're just process-oriented person. To be honest, Joachim, I am 60 or 70 percent process-oriented person. And okay. it's good. just enjoy the process, uh, do what you love, provide value, and work. Uh, be a speaker on, at seminars and coach people. And that's my that's my definition of success: to be free, to do what I love, and be be around great people, and travel the world. That's my that's my combination. But if you want to achieve something, just 
see exactly if everything would be possible what would you dream of to achieve and take take pen and paper and write down your ideal results ideal res uh, life in two or three or five years ahead it could be specific, measurable. You remember SMART, abbreviate, abbreviate, SMART goals, specific, yes. measurable, <laughs> achievable, um, reliable, and time-bounded. But it's also very important to, to make a list of benefits you would achieve um, when, uh, when your goal would, uh, when you, will, you will have when your goal will be achieved. Mm -hmm. So just uh, explain your mind. Why do you need that? what 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 be, uh, benefits would you would you have then you should make a list of obstacles what holding you back it could be limiting beliefs or fears it could be not enough money or time and no team and so on it's very important to write down what's uh, what's obstacles have you you have right now then uh, make a list of um, information and skills and knowledges you would need to accumulate in yourself to achieve that goal. Then make a list of people and in organizations uh, you would you would need uh, help of. So uh, what kind of people you would love to have as an advisor or uh, people who would love who would share some resources with you or information or, or experiences. Then uh, make a plan of action. What would you like to do in uh, first week, month, or two months? And then take actions every single day and visualize your ideal results. Visualize, it could be every single day after you wake up and before you go to bed. So you attract people's circumstances and your subconscious mind already working, looking for some uh, information and tools to achieve that goals. So goal setting is, as a success is predictable, is not an accident. You should take paper, pen and paper and just think about your ideal results, your ideal goals. You, you can be a wealthy, happy, successful person. So just create this image. You can create a masterpiece from your life. And there, there are a lot of a thousands and millions of people already did that before. So learn from them, learn from biographies, autobiographies, learn from their failures, learn from their successes and apply in your own life and you will have great, great life. But decide exactly what does success mean to me personally. Exactly. And I think that's very important because often success as is kind of defined by society, perhaps, and how we thought about it is means money or a great career you know these kind of things um but maybe success for you means being a great mother at home and taking care of your kids right that right. can also be success absolutely uh, so there that's very good that, that, that you say that indeed um yeah Joachim, I, i'm sorry i just want to add a little bit Ma success is not only finance finances and money success yeah, yeah. for me it's a harmony is balanced uh, in different areas of life it could be it, it's absolutely energy and health relationships a financial freedom um, career or business and that's for me it's harmony it's balance what 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 i want to be to have in my own life as a success hmm. yeah now what would you say to people like okay imagine i have this this goal and and, and kind of success road that i that i want to walk you mentioned as well when you were writing down like uh, what are my obstacles how can people find out better what their obstacles are? Because sometimes if you're working with yourself, you don't know what your obstacles are, right? <laughs> yeah. um, I know that, for example, for me in the beginning, when I was like decades ago, thinking about my dreams, I was like, oh, I want to be like that. Yeah, but that's nothing for me. You know, these, these kind of things can pop up. So what would you tell to, to people in order to become more aware of their obstacles and how to deal with that as well? Yeah. It's step-by-step -step process, Joachim. It's a great question. Thank you very much. Uh, just start from small things. Just increase your self-esteem. Develop your self-confidence. Just write down all successes you have in your own life. And that's the starting points. So uh, a lot of people have low self-esteem. And uh, it's a uh, result of your financial situation, relationships, and so on. But just take paper, pen and paper and see exactly 
what's uh, what kind of information do I need to have? What's holding me back? It could be fear of other, fear of uh, criticism, fear of failure. It's subconscious fear, fear of uh, new and, uh, and uh, expanding your comfort zone, fear of responsibility, fear of success, or it could be, oh, I'm too young or I'm too old. It's limiting beliefs. So uh, just work on them. Work with uh, uh, someone or read, read some books um read something every single day it could be five or ten minutes but it's the compound effect your self-esteem your self-confidence will grow will develop and uh, because of that you start to make new decisions you will have different results and uh, just start start with something small steps so uh, i would say like this Joachim, it's not necessary to see exactly what's what's your ideal life would look like in five years but just um, decomposite so divide your a year goal for 12 12 monthly goals one monthly goal divide for four weekly goals one weekly goal divide for, uh, for five or seven daily goals and you will know exactly what you should do every single day to get closer to your yearly goal mm. Now, what if I don't get track on my monthly goals or my weekly goals? Like I have all these, I have a huge goal set out and then I have smaller goals uh, per, per month or per week. What happens if I don't get traction on those goals in the beginning? Yeah, just, just, uh, just start, start with something, Joachim. As I said, we become what we think about most of the time. So think about your goals. Write down your goals every day. Uh, because you, you put the energy there. When you have a pen and paper, you use, you use your visual energy and uh, me mechanics and, uh, and everything works like this. So you, you shouldn't believe that you, you're going to achieve that first time. I didn't believe in my goals when I, when I've, when I see my uh, notebooks uh, 10 or 15 years uh, old and but I, 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 I started wow if it what what does what what if it does work and I just started to do that and it takes time it, to form new habit it takes time it could be one day it could be 21 days it could be 65 days but um, uh, um, start with something so you can uh, do, do some physical activities for example choose one goal for for a month choose one habit or skill you go you you you're going to develop for a month and develop that just one skill or one habit uh, for example it could be physical activities then you 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 can you cannot uh, cannot reading every single day it could be two or five minutes it's called the kaizen kaizen philosophy so improvement every single day two day two weeks or two or uh, two minutes you can okay. just start with two minutes. Mm -hmm. Two minutes, you, you, you read just two minutes. Two minutes, you do just two minutes physical activities or you visualize or you write down your journal or goals. Start with something. There are abundance of information about self-made millionaires, about uh, successful investors or happy husbands and wives. Just read what they thought, uh, what, what they uh, written and what they talk on interviews and model them. Love it. I had to love a little bit when you were talking in the beginning of your answer, because I was picturing my, I had a, well, I was still working in corporate. Mm -hmm. I made myself a vision board. It's now like 10 years yeah. or 12 years ago, roughly. I've I made myself a vision board of what my life could look like if I would do what I would really be passionate about. And that was back then. Uh, and I saw myself like traveling the world, uh, speaking to audiences, volunteering, coaching people one on one, and so on. But I didn't really knew what that then meant, right? So it was just a bunch of passions together. Joachim, that's great, great <laughs> uh, what you said, and it's 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 uh, emotions over there because mm -hmm. our minds see these pictures and uh, dream board or uh, what you mentioned. It could be the mind movie. So mind movie, it's a movie you made with your pictures, with your picture, photos, uh, with nice music, and you will have these emotions, feelings 
uh, and uh, see, you see beautiful future, beautiful yourself in the future. And uh, it, it's great that you did that. And I, 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 I've got several uh, vision boards as well. Awesome. And then the point that I also wanted to, to mention is that, you know, I made that vision board back then, having no idea how I could achieve it. Yeah. Like absolutely no idea. But then four or five years back, it all started to happen. Yeah. So, right. I started my own company. I started traveling the world, speaking, coaching and so on. So it's all happening. And when I saw the picture some time ago, I was like, <laughs> like laughing at it. But I think like what you mentioned is that, you know, sometimes it, it seems all so far away, but start indeed small. Because right. Back then I also didn't immediately, like I wasn't a speaker back then, right? I didn't know how to speak or be on stage. I was even afraid to come on stage and so on. So I just started very simply every day, like you reading books, immersing myself in, in, in the subjects, doing a workshop here and there. And then day by day going on. So I love that. That how is it called? Kaizen. Yeah, Kaizen. Mm -hmm. the, the Kaizen setting Kaizen goal. So every every day two minutes, for example, right? Yeah. I love that. So it's, it makes it very small, but still it's very intentional. Yeah. So that every day, 365 days, you can do something about your goals. I love it. Yeah, you increase your self awareness, self focus on what you what's really your priorities what's really important in you for you because there are a lot of distractions uh, social media youtube uh, advertisements phone calls but you should invest five or ten or fifteen minutes every single day in yourself just be yourself it could be uh, silent time it could be uh, walking in on in the park without headset without audio books and podcasts without everything because you have a lot of answers to your questions inside but when we think about when we read when we uh in in this informational um feel that every everything put in in our mind we don't want to so it's not it's not easy for our mind and brain to work uh effectively so uh, mm. yeah yeah that's what, that's what, what do you do to switch off like to to kind of get away of the distraction and really be with yourself and that you're in this natural state when ideas flow yeah. and creativity flows what what do you do to to be in that that state joking this morning i went for uh walking in the park exercises and then uh, i went to sauna and swimming pool just to relax and uh, use my body just to to, to do with myself so uh, it, it's great to uh, to do something for your mind and for your body as well i did some visualization and meditation technique um, just to be with myself also so uh, nature uh, nice books nice music uh, water swimming pool uh, it, it helps me a lot and i believe portugal has great beautiful nature so you can you can <laughs> walk around and maybe go by the ocean so it's it's wonderful so just uh, find something what what helps you to increase your energy level to inspire you to do something we we we, we everyone can find something even if you live in small town or a small village you can find something that help you to be more productive and focused on what you really want and passionate about. Yeah, like, you know, I'm lucky enough to live near the sea, like you said. Um, it's like 50 meters down the road and I'm at the Atlantic Ocean. Wow. Um, so that's a way for me to completely reboot and kind of get out of stress if, if I have stress. Um, but it's a great way to connect with nature, right? Yeah. Just walking along the ocean for me is yes. very, it's, it's great. Because and when I lived in the Netherlands, I lived in the city center of uh, Rotterdam. So that there was no nature or so, but, but still I had like a kind of daily ritual to connect with myself. Um, in the morning I did yoga uh, and I also did meditation. So I do this kind of quick 30, 45 minutes uh, practice every day that I've been doing for many, many years now. And it really helps me as well to, to connect That's with myself good. and yeah. you know, to keep my energy levels high. Yeah, yeah. And it's called uh, earthing, so, or grounding. So yeah. you, can, you can walk barefoot 
uh, and it's 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 wonderful, nice exercise for me. It helps me. It's not like 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 this in winter time where a lot of snow in Moscow, but usually I do that. It could be hug, tree hug, tree hug, hugging. So <laughs> you can you can just unite with with the, with the nature. So it helps me a lot. Awesome, Pavel. I would like to to ask you two final questions. Um, and I would love to know, like, from your personal journey, like in personal development and, and peak performance strategies, and from learning about all of your mentors and so on, what is the worst advice that you have ever been given when it comes to setting goals? Oh, worst advice, joking. That's a very nice question. <laughs> I, I, I should think about that. Well, probably, um, probably, Joachim, I would say that look for quick uh, quick s s s way to become wealthy and successful there is no quick, fast fast tracks it's it's uh, it's 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 a, it's a process you should uh, think about something like this joking when when a person is not ready for a financial success or career success he's not ready it's it, it this opportunity uh, could uh, could bre broke break him down, but when you develop yourself, when you develop your personality, your expertise, you are getting ready to that opportunity. And when opportunity and readiness meet, you 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 got this luck and success. So prepare yourself right now for the ideal future. Uh, it's not an accident. For example, if you're not ready as a person to become a president of the organization of, or company or a country, uh, you are not ready. This, uh, this could be a very close op situation, opportunity, but you, you, even you, you don't see that and you are not ready for that. You don't take this uh, 100%. But when you develop yourself to uh, become a great leader, become a nice, beautiful husband and father and so on, you, you you can you can find and do something with opportunity you meet so yeah the worst the worst advice uh it's uh, just don't invest in yourself um win the lottery and uh, everything could be good good it's it's, it's not like that <laughs> <laughs> all right i love that one now the last last question what's the most important factor or what has been the most important factor for you um to really start living your dreams like if you could only choose one i know there are several but yeah there are one. a lot of uh joking i would say gratitude for this moment because mm -hmm. we don't have a, a, a past already and we don't have a future yet and the power is now and the the, the situation or something we can change is right now and our life it's just this moment we have this conversation joking that's our life and uh, i would say gratitude for this moment gratitude for what you have and focus on the present and live your life right now don't live in the future don't live in the past just um just enjoy the process enjoy what you have right now and uh that probably the turning point in my life when i when i realized that awesome man thank you so much i think you know that explains it all like being grateful for what we have and being grateful for this conversation that we're having right now yes. it's, it has been very very cool and amazing i really want to thank you for all of your inspirational insights that you were giving pavel it was has been really really cool um so, thank you know, before you, so you before you go please let us know what the best places are that people can can find you and and, and your work if they would love to know more about you okay my, i would i would say thank you very much as well for beautiful conversation for your wonderful questions and you're a great interviewer so uh, i really enjoy talking with you and uh, yeah I, I feel so 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 grateful and blessed for this opportunity to share Likewise, this, man. This, this, <laughs> this this these thoughts these ideas i believe uh it could help a lot of people it could uh, accelerate their journey because these ideas and what i said to you uh today joachim it what I do. It was it was I found during the, my journey, and I would love to be a uh, 
a person who would inspire other people as well all over the world. So I'm, I'm in Facebook, I'm in LinkedIn. So I'm really open. If you have some questions, please uh, send me a message. Uh, I, would, I would love to, to keep in touch uh, with you, dear friends. Joking. Yeah, for LinkedIn and, 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 and Facebook. That would be my answer to your question. Awesome, guys. So if you want to contact Pavel, please check the show notes below. I will drop all his contact information in there. Uh, really recommend to get in touch with Pavel, even if it's for a very nice conversation about personal development, peak performance strategies, setting goals. Pavel, I learned a lot with you. I love this conversation. Um, let's stay in touch. I would love yes. to meet you in person one day, perhaps Absolutely. traveling somewhere, you know, I don't know yes. where we can meet up. You're invited to come to Portugal. So that's, that's Thank for sure. You. Thank you very much, Joachim. Yeah, I look forward to meet you in person. Maybe share the stage together or do something great together. And welcome to Moscow and Russia as well. And uh, absolutely, let's keep in touch. You are doing a great job. You inspire people. You are a role model for others. So please continue what you do. And uh, thank you very much as well. Thanks, man. Likewise. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank See you later. Thanks.